What's going on, Coco? Welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you've been here, my name is Jada, and today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm just going to have a quick chat and do a little bit of an update on myself because something I haven't done really ever, but if not for a long time, is actually sort of talk about myself for a bit. I recently did a Q&A on Instagram and well, that was actually nearly a month ago. I had uh, some plans to do a question and answer video for something different and I never did it because, well, something come up and um, I wanted to hold off as long as possible to give the honest truth of what's actually happening. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of a different style in answering those questions today. And I hope you can get a little bit out of it, but uh, this is just a little bit of an update on where I'm at with my business. So I'm going to swing back, right back to 2003 actually. I'm gonna start there and I was in high school and um, there was, you know, this person asked me if they could borrow some batteries for their Walkman. Uh, this was on a high school camp. Now, let's fast forward to now, and I'm now actually married to that person. Um, so a long time ago in high school, I did meet my future wife, and we became friends through high school. And we just had a really good friendship for a long period of time until uh, it was about 2008 when we ended up together. And we had a relationship. So um, we have been friends for a long time and uh, partners also for a long time. And in 2009, we actually built our first house. I finished school quite early. So 2005, I was 15 years old and I struggled with school. Uh, I really did. I struggled to concentrate. I was good with sport. I was good with um, music, stuff that I was interested in. But when it came to math, I just liked to stuff around with me mates, do silly things and get myself in trouble. And I really, really did struggle because I had no interest in it. Um, we flash forward to now and it turns out this year I was diagnosed with ADHD as an adult, which is pretty common apparently among adults to be diagnosed at a later date. And it also explained me taking on the reselling and getting hyper fixated on it. But that's a story for another day. And from what I'm aware of since saying that I was diagnosed with ADHD, I see that there's a lot of people in the community that do have it. And it's a very common occurrence for people with ADHD to actually take up reselling. So I did take on an apprenticeship where I could actually start to earn money at 15 years old, which I did complete. And I'm now actually qualified in two trades. So I finished a painting and decorating apprenticeship. I took that on because it was the easiest of the others that I got offered when it came to work experience. Um, do I regret it? No, because we built our first house in 2009 when I was 19 years old, along with my wife who was studying at uni at the time. She is a psychologist. And we were able to build that house. So I was pretty proud of the fact that we were able to sell, my, uh, save money to you know, get the purchase of our first house at a very young age. And look, it was only a little place. Um, we didn't pay a lot of money for it. And back then it was a bit different. But at the same time, I hated that job and I probably stayed in it way longer than I thought I should have. Uh, thinking back, you know, um, poor, like the money wasn't great. Uh, it was a dirty, cold shit job really and uh, look it got me through which I'm happy with but anyway I ended up getting a job up at a print site so I took on another apprenticeship where I printed newspapers for well seven years it was before COVID came around we were all made redundant so we did get a payout and this is something that I've expressed a lot of times on this channel for anyone that's new here I know there's a lot of new subs that have come over thank you very much but um we did get a little bit of a payout. So I did have a redundancy built up there and I did 12 hour night shifts. Uh, and yeah, it was a good paying job. There was good people up there, but you know, I was a bit sick of it. And reselling was something that I wanted to do full time. And it was a goal of mine. The redundancy was something that pushed me into it. And I got to, I got to uh, achieve that. I got to actually do that. And it's been almost two years since that happened now. And I've been selling full time, but now, um, it's come to the point where I've actually had to sell a family house and uh, I'm devastated. I'm absolutely devastated. The fact that this place here, 
We absolutely love it. Um, we've been here for seven years. So we built the first place, bought this place. We've raised our first child here and we have so many memories. It's a quiet area. We're out in the bushland. It's just such a peaceful place and we really, really love it here. And essentially we didn't want to move. Um, and yeah, I was gutted, but we're on to bigger and better things. I'm actually stoked to say that we've bought another place and I had to do it because I ran out of space here. Simple as that, I f have two sheds and I've filled them. I have, this is a four bedroom house and quite large bedrooms. You've seen a collectible room here before, that was filled. I've got an office as well, um, a storage shed. My main eBay store that I share on this channel just clicked over 3,000 listings recently and turning over anywhere between probably 15 to 30 items a day on that store alone now. And I do have the three stores. One of them that I've cut off for the moment until uh, we get sorted and we move, but the other two are still going. And yeah, look, it's, uh, it's really, really grown and I'm really proud of where I've managed to get it to. I now have someone coming in for a few hours a week helping me list and draft, and it's just really starting to boom. So it come to the point where at the start of this year, I had to make a decision and the decision was, well, I need storage. I didn't want to go into a storage unit. I thought for the money that I'd pay, no power, plus the travel, it'd be really hard. So I looked into a warehouse and same deal for the price that you pay to lease a warehouse per week. Plus you had that 10 minutes travel there, 10 minutes back each day. There's 20 minutes of listing that I can lose. And it made it really, really hard and tricky. So. I thought, well, maybe we could extend, put a bit of a shed on here. Space was really tricky. And then next door to my post office that I go to every day popped up for lease. And I think it actually still is for lease. I thought maybe I can go into a brick and mortar type setup. I can use the whole shop as storage, work out of it and just use the front to throw a few items in that I could just clear out like a secondhand store. And that sort of came into, you know, the possibilities as well but realistically it just wasn't for me i like what i do and i wanted to continue to do this so we looked around and we made some offers on some houses and we were declined because we were subject to the sale of our house so we had to go on the market and we sold it really quick for yeah pretty good money a lot more than what we paid for it seven eight years ago so Thankfully, we bought a place down the road. There's heaps of space to work with. I'm up and about. Um, it gives me the ability to expand and do what I want to do. Now, you see me doing a lot of op shopping and a question that I got asked is, that's the main way I run my business. And no, it's not. It's a very, very small portion. Um, and, you know, I go out there and that's kind of what this YouTube channel is about. I do the, the op shop stuff and the thrifting and show you the finds that I get. And... A lot of my business, most of my business runs on, obviously I do a bit of the wholesaling, also bulk deals, I advertise for stock, I buy large quantities of things. I don't show everything on this channel, I just don't get around to it. And the reason is, not because I'm hiding anything, I kind of try and get that one video out per week. And me personally, I am a reseller before I'm a YouTuber. I like making YouTube content, I enjoy it, I have fun, I love the community aspect. I've met some of the most fantastic people on this journey. I've done collab videos with people. I've traveled to different states and I communicate with people in this, this reselling space every single day because I'm addicted, the people are great. And that's why I do it. It's purely hobby. The reason I make videos, I create content. I think I, I'm like a child because I love to show off the stuff that I get. I get excited about it. And I get excited about other people finding stuff too that's really good. So I love that aspect. I love the process of making the video, the editing side of things. But it's not something where I wanna be a massive YouTuber or be a big star. I don't think it's something that's probably 100% doable here in Australia purely on the back of reselling. I know there's some massive channels in the States and there's some channels here within Australia that are really booming that are putting in a lot of um, time and effort into it. But I've said this before, and if I got paid a million dollars to resell every day, or a million dollars to make YouTube videos, and I can only pick one, I'd resell, because I love it. I love the thrill of the hunt, I love the chase, I love seeing all these interesting items. So, um, for me, this is just purely a hobby, and 
the re reason I get time to do this, I cut out a lot of things. I don't watch TV anymore other than the footy um, and a bit of YouTube when, I've, when I'm working, you know. I, or oh, stuff with my son. Um, I cut out things like that. I spend a lot of time more so on the business. So I find it hard to get the videos out more than one a week. A lot of people that are kind of pushing that, which is great. If that's your goal, that's fantastic. Um, I'm not knocking anyone that their goal is to be a YouTuber. That's absolutely fantastic. And if that's what you enjoy, that's what you chase 100%. But that's not me. So I make these videos because I find it fun. Um, but in the future now, I hope to get some more out there because I'll have a better setup. I'll have better space. And I was sick of tripping over stuff here, like sheds are full. I don't have a great setup at the moment because I have so much stuff and it's just not doable how I want to do it. So this gives me the opportunity to have a, just the best setup. Um, I can source a lot better. As I said, the bulk purchases are something that's more interests me rather than the thrifting. I like to get the stuff up listed. Um, I like to buy large quantities and large amounts of stock. Another question that I had was uh, anti or pro death pile, and I'm 100% pro death pile, if you can manage it. I'm anti death pile to people that get stuff thrown in a pile and just never list it and then eventually donate it. It's something they know they won't list. If you have a good uh, inventory system where you do list your death pile or money pile, then I am all for it. I'm happy to buy bulk, large quantities of stock. I don't care if that cash is sitting there for a long period of time because it is going to get listed. I'd rather actually bulk list. So if I have video games start to pile up and I haven't listed them, I'd rather list them all at once because that actually gives you an algorithmic push on eBay and it'll actually start selling some of the other stock you've got in your store. So rather than doing a few DVDs here, a couple of jumpers, I've got a video player, I've got some trading cards, very, very random. It takes a lot longer to do that when you've got a system going and you can list everything at once. I'm all for it and that's how, uh, that's how I like to run. So I'm absolutely 100% if you have a good inventory system, I'm pro death pile, pro money pile. So that now with the space and the ability to do that, uh, I just can't wait, I'm excited. It means I can probably pump out a few more videos to hopefully get back to sort of two a week if possible. And you know, I'll probably up the hours of my helper who's been absolutely fantastic for this business. She's um, coming in a few hours a week and just absolutely smashing it. So uh, very happy where, we're, where that's going and hopefully we can get some more uh, hours in there and maybe even another person at some point. So thought today's video, it's a bit of a chat and I don't do these sort of vlog style videos. I just go out hunting and I generally show you what I'm up to that week, uh, whatever it may be. But um, look, the future's exciting. I'm absolutely pumped and I thought I probably should get on here and be pretty honest because this has been up in the air for oh, a few months now. Um, as I said, back in January, we were actually looking at sort of warehouses and stuff. And I've had to kind of keep it quiet because, you know, some sales fell through on housing and um, it's just sort of been up in the air. We didn't know what was going to happen. Now it's all locked in stone. We actually move in four weeks from now. So um, the next few weeks, I don't know how consistently I'm going to be here on YouTube because we're going to be very busy. So I'll try and get a thrift video out here and there. And then in the future, you'll see the setup, the massive shedding. Uh, a bit of renovating gonna happen. It's, uh, yeah, exciting times here. I'm pumped. Um, the little one's pumped. We're pumped as a family. And yeah, it's, uh, things are changing. This whole, whole space is changing. So um, I'm very fortunate. I love my job. And you know, it's not all about the thrifting. I, as I said, I, I couldn't rely just on op shops. Um, I do so much other stuff. Kind of in the background, which you'll, you've seen bits of it. You know what goes on if you follow me on Instagram as well and YouTube. Occasionally you see, you know, I did recently did a video on the storage unit. Um, there's going to be, I'm going to actually share a lot more of that sort of stuff in the future. So digging through those things and some of the bulk purchases and how they go. So very excited for that. And as I said, I do love the creation point when it comes to making videos. So I don't think I'm ever going to stop doing it. And um yeah, even though I've sort of half-assed my way through it, kind of the one video a week or whenever I feel like it, I'm really happy that this channel's grown. It's reached out to some of you guys and still getting love and support here. Um, you're all absolutely fantastic. And we might even do another giveaway soon because I haven't done one of those for a while. 
Uh, just me saying thank you back. But um, that's it for today. I appreciate you being here. Just a bit of a chat. I'll actually try and drop two videos this week. If you are craving one of those thrift videos, uh, I'll try and get another one out. But um, that's what's happening. There's some big things coming up and really excited to share it all with you. So thank you very much. Love you all.